Welcome back to Wicked F-150, and the doors are open. It has been a busy morning, afternoon already, and I already got a headache. <laughs> so, we got one seat in. This is the new leather seat on the driver's side. Uh, now, about the process. I'm going to show you, of course, on the passenger seat. I wanted to get one done to see how to do it myself. Um, it's not necessarily an easy thing to do, uh, especially until you get the hang of it. Um, I don't think the passenger side, of course, is going to be that hard at all. I will say this driver's seat took me about three, eh, about two and a half hours uh, to get this done. Now, it's very tedious. It's not that it's hard. It's just tedious, and you got to make sure that you are careful uh, removing the old ones so you don't break the clips that go inside the seats uh, to hold them down. I will, of course, show you that on the passenger seat. But driver's seat is installed. Headrest, front, bottom, seats back in. Everything's done. And these are relation ra relations race wheels. So it is, they just came out with these uh, a couple months ago, I believe. And they are cheaper than cat skins. They are extremely soft leather. Uh, they fit really nice. And so far I love them. I mean, of course they've only been in <laughs> a couple of minutes, but let's go ahead and get the rest done and see how it looks. All right, so first to remove the seats, um, you have to remove those clips here, or the covers on all four posts, two up front, and then of course two in the rear, right around the corner there. Um, you can use anything to pop these up. I'm just using a knife because it makes it easier. And they're underneath, so I'm not, I don't really care about damaging it too bad. <laughs> but it's that simple. And then you just take and remove all four bolts. But you do also have to or get off. So right there in the middle, there's the pushes on the other side to release it. I had to take my knife, put it in from the front, pull that down, and take a screwdriver and pry up on the handle because it folds back. Then you can unplug this. Uh, this is actually clipped right here on that um, white, it's just that push clip. Uh, it's clipped on there. You have to pull that off and then you can remove the seat. Let's do that. Uh, by the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned the bolts are 13. Uh, that's 13 millimeter. All right, now that the seat is out, uh, first we're going to remove the plastic side panel. Uh, it's torque bits, one here, and then the whole way around, down here on the bottom, uh, right there. That's all that holds that on, and uh, we're going to remove them, and then you have to slide it back and up at the same time. Let's do that. I know I don't know what number that is. I have no, Torx bits is not something that I know anything <laughs> about. I use them when I have to, that's it. And then this bottom one here. Right. Now, to remove this. I may need two hands. All right, so it's off. You pull that end up. This end, the rest of it, out towards the front of the seat. Of course, you do have this plug here to power everything. You just push the clip and pull it out. Man, this stuff's hard one-handed. <laughs> All right, once that plastic cover is off, you're going to want to flip it on its side. Uh, there's a couple con more connectors that you need to undo. Uh, this yellow one here, you pull the red tab back. You gotta push 
<laughs> in. Oh, you guys got to try this with one hand. All right, so you unplug the yellow one. You unplug this black one back here because it runs up through the seat cover itself. And then you follow this line the whole way to the gray plug there. You're going to unplug that. Now you have to, the plugs, the wires that are coming from the seat, you have to pull them out of the uh, clips right there because you're going to have to pull them out through the seat. Let's go ahead and do that. So I apologize. Uh, apparently the camera, I don't know what the hell happened, but electronics suck. I just did this entire seat and showed you guys exactly how to do it step by step and had to pause it because I got a delivery and I come back and the video's gone. Um, <laughs> the bottom's on. The new bottom. Now I will go back and show you the issues here. Uh, first, this gray plug, you need to unplug it. It's plugged in right here on this gray plug, right there. You need to unplug that because that's your heater core. Uh, before you take off your factory seats, you gotta unplug that. This yellow cord, you gotta unplug that one, and it has these uh, clips that are a pain in the ass. Uh, you gotta pull them out because they come through the top seat. This big black plug that's plugged in right here also clips and unplug that because that goes through the top seat. Uh, this, the factory and the new one just go through uh, J clips. They just fold over like twice <laughs> and go up to the frame and that's how they connect. Two here, uh, two on the corners, and then one on the sides. Um, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and do the top and I will show you uh, the J clips inside that you have to worry about. This is actually going to work out better so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, but on the bottom, there's J clip here at this seam, here at this seam, and then vertical. On the top piece, there's one here, and of course, vertical. Now, I will show you what they look like. These clips here are strips, clip in to these orange strips. Now, all that is, it's just a J-clip. They hook over it. Now, you don't want to pull these out. I actually did on my on the driver's seat. I just ripped the top up, and this one down here in this corner is the one that pulled out. It's this one. I just ripped the cloth up, and it ripped it right off of the foam. So you need to be careful. The best way to do it is push down on one side of the orange and twist the clip up out. And that's, you just keep pushing down and twist, push down and twist. It goes the whole way up and of course across. Now with your heating element, if you have that, uh, these loops, it's on the top. And then again, on the bottom here, you want to make sure that they are over it. So when you clip it, you hold this down. Okay. So that way it doesn't move and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get the top piece in now. All right. So the J clips I was talking about. Like I said, I mean, I can't really show you how to put them in because it's such a tiny, tiny space, but the orange clips I showed you and the long pieces, you just squish them back in on every orange clip. <clears throat> now, the next piece I can show you is to stretch these over. Uh, they have the white circles around them that you cut out. Be very careful to just cut on the line. And then when you get it, you just stretch it over. Okay, that's all it is. But, like I said, you want to be careful. Sorry for the shakiness. Doing this with one hand and trying to hold on the other one. You just stretch it over. Okay? You get the idea. Do it on both of them. Now, for the airbag, uh, taking it out of the other one, which deleted, taking it out. Uh, it's two 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts uh, inside here on the frame. You just remove them, and then there's a plug right here. You pull the orange clip down and then just unplug it. That's the plug. You just pull it out of the little case, that uh, little fabric that it has. So on the new one, you just put it back inside the little fabric pocket. Uh, put the studs through the holes. And then shove it in the little cutout here in the foam. 
and put the studs back through. On the inside, and like I said, two ten, 10 millimeter nuts on it, and then just uh, bolt them on so it doesn't pull out as you're uh, finishing the seat. Okay, and then you just pull it around, uh, get it snug, because you already have the bottom piece pulled through the cushion uh, that J clip together. Zip it up, make it tight. And let's get the rest of it hooked back up. So uh, now that the airbag is done, <clears throat> um, then all you do is uh, there's two clips here and here that hook onto the yellow bar that's on the back side, and then um, you zip it up. Then you take your clip from the back side here in the front and clip them together. It's just a J clip. Uh, you just clip it, and then it's time to plug everything back up. The yellow plug and then the clips that of course go there and then there the black one here and then the clips and your gray one for the uh, heating if you have that next is the headrest let's go ahead and get that. all right so i'm not sure where i'm going to edit this in here but this is the rear seat now this is the single rear seat uh, of course the process is the same throughout the whole thing uh, you gotta carefully remove it so you don't break the j clips you put the j clips back in um, but the rear seat, I wanted to be a, tell you guys how to do the rear seat because it's completely different than the front frame wise, of course. Uh, when I'm done explaining this, we will go to how to remove them from the truck itself. But from here, um, once you take it out, the back moves freely um, and it's two separate pieces. So the bottom and then the backing itself. Um, from the brackets, you actually need to remove this bolt, uh, plastic covering that and the uh, bolt on this side with plastic covering this the I guess door side would be is a Phillips that goes into there and you need to remove this which is a half inch uh, half inch socket for the bolts on the seat itself um, Phillips on this side then the inner side is a Torx bit T30 and um, again, half inch bolt here. You need to remove these bolts to pull the top off and you have to, to get it. Um, the hole is cut into the factory cloth, of course, and the bolt goes through that. Same with the new seats, a hole in the factory or the replacement and the bolt goes through that. Um, and the rear or the bottom, I guess, it has cutouts for the car seat brackets here and you just pull it over and clip the top and the bottom right here on this J clip. And then the same with the top J clip here from the front and the back. Um, you do cut out the latch. They have a outlined for you. Just cut that out so you can pull, uh, have your seat pull. Um, now they do have the thing for the strap to come out the side. I just didn't do that. Uh, I'll unzip it up unzip this side and then run it through here so it's the same spot as factory uh not out this back side here but uh just wanted to explain that to you now let's look at how to remove it from the truck itself so on the this side the passenger side uh bolt here here two up there and then one in the corner now the two here down here and then the back one that is an 18 and then the bottom one there is a half inch five eighths five eighths on that one uh that's how you remove the rear seat now this the big seat is the same thing um you'll have the see the nut right there that you have to remove this side that side and then the back. I'm probably going to tackle that tomorrow. It's like 5 o'clock. And I've about had it today. Um, but it's going to be a tackle to get the rear seat out. Because I don't have the aftermarket strap that you hook onto the back. So I'll figure out how to pull down that back seat. Um, but hope you guys in, uh, again enjoy the video. Install. Check out the link. Relations race wheels dot com all right 
So for the headrest, uh, grab your headrest, figure out which way is the front and the back. <laughs> right, the one with the stitching, that's the back the line. And just put it on. Uh, to get it started is the hardest part. Sitting down I find is a little easier, so that way you have the pressure against yourself to pull against. Hold one side. Uh, <laughs> so the first one didn't took all but a minute, if that. And of course, now that I'm videotaping this one, it's going to be harder. You just got to get your thumb in there, hold all the sides down, and push the foam down at the same time. All right, got it on. Like I said, brace it against yourself and pull on it. Uh, push the foam of the headrest down as you're pulling it on. One side and the other side. Now, you can see, it's crooked, okay? So you just gotta pull it over and then pull this side back down. Uh, that's what where the I guess blow dryer or a steamer would come in handy to be able to scoot it around, loosen it up a little bit so it's not as tight. But got it. You want to make sure the seam is on the top, uh, on the corner so it lines up right. And then these pieces, these little flaps, the same as factory, you just fold them over inside and put it around the post and then you hook the J hooks together. And that's it. Uh, the seat's done. You've seen how uh, easy <laughs> it is to do. It is entirely possible to do. The first one took two and a half hours. This one, uh, between the editing and the delivery, or not the editing, deletion and the delivery, maybe an hour for this seat. So it really doesn't take that long once you get the hang of it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys like the seat. Check them out, Relation Race Wheels, RRR. Um, I know they're on the Facebook pages and their website. I will put it in the description below. I got red stitching, of course, for the special edition, but they have red, blue, or gray stitching. Uh, cheaper, oh, cheaper than cat, cat skins. Uh, I believe they're softer, and I mean, you can't beat the quality. It, it's really great. I think you really need to check them out. Again, description below. Like the video, subscribe, and hope you all have a great weekend.